nobody fucking with me, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody fucking with me. Nobody fucking with me. Welcome back, this uni crew. It's your girl. So, coming on to do something real quick. Like, you know, we just got off live, so we did discuss that I was going to try to do the DTF on this tumbler here. I did do one already, and it didn't turn out as good as I thought it would. I already tried it. Uh, this tumbler here I got from Michael's Arts and Crafts. It's um, it's not sublimated material or nothing like that. You can just buy it out of Michael's. Now, on this side, I messed up. How? I don't know. I'm thinking maybe, I don't know, maybe I left it in too long or something. I don't know. Maybe I, you know, cured it too long. Because with DTF printing, you have to put like a, a powder substance on the back of it. And then you have to cure it. So I use a heat gun. Some people use the oven. Some people use the heat press. But I'm just not learning. I don't know everything, y'all. So don't quote me on nothing. I got my printer as a gift. It was already converted. I got it for Big Boy Prints. Um, so it was already converted. I don't know how to convert nothing. I can send you over to him or Anthony Addison. That's the best I can do for you. I really can't tell you nothing. You got to do your own research. You got to play with it. I'm just over here to just try. That's all I'm over here to do. So, I did this on Crafting Things uh, YouTube channel. Now, today we picked it, this little part here. But at the end of the day, it's on here. Like, it's on here. Time and temp is what I'm trying to figure out now. So, we're going to do another one. And we're going to do it on this cup here, which is another tumbler. I am going to be using heat tape, shrink wrap, and the DTF. This is my image. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to try it again. So, this is on a film. And it also has like a powdery substance on the back, which is the adhesive. You have to heat it up to where it's not movable on your image. Now, last time I think I heated it up entirely too much. I don't know, y'all. I'm just trying. So, I didn't heat it up as much or crystallize it or whatever they call it. So, it's still a uh, mm, back there. Um, my oven is on 400 and I, and it been on a while. So I'm praying it don't burn it up. The last video I did was on a live. I did a coffee cup and I think we went 10 minutes. So I'm not going to go that long. Cause I don't know. Like, like I said, I'm, I'm trying and they gotta be peeled cold. My shrink wrap. You get this off Amazon. I will link everything below in the description. And, um, got some heat tape. So we're going to use some heat tape. I don't, I don't like this heat tape. Cricket brand heat tape is pretty good to me. It's, it's thick. You know, this is like a little thin. They have it thicker too, but uh, honestly speaking, sells uh, heat tape as well, so you can get it from her. And like I said, I got the tumbler from Michaels. So now it's just cut the film, and I, I didn't measure nothing, y'all. Like I, I'm gonna have to show y'all what I mean when I say I can't design. So when I design something and I try to take it to remove background, it takes the white from stuff. I'm still learning how to make PNGs. I don't know nothing. So the measurements on this, I didn't measure. I just put it together in my Cricut Design Space, took it to remove background. And then when I brought it over to the RIP software, I just made it look like it. I just did the smallest possible, pretty much. I didn't do no measurements or nothing. Probably like, because I attached the picture together. So probably like, it was probably like six width. Uh, two height or something at the most. So I'm just gonna put this on here and I'm gonna tape it. And my heat tape. Just try to line it up as good as possible. And I'm gonna cut right here. So, I don't think it just have to have no pressure or nothing like that. I got it on here. I just ran some tape across it to hold it because I'm going to put shrink wrap on there to, you know, make it go all the way to the paper. And I'm going to do the same with this side here. I'm just going to put this on here. If I can figure out the time and the temps, y'all, that would be awesome because... This would be less work to me. To some people, it probably be a little more work. But to me, it, it's not. It's like, it's, it's going to be good to me. 
The stickers can work fine, but you got to do too much work, like with the ceiling and all that good stuff. I ain't trying to work hard. Everything ain't hard. I, I don't know how to put it. Ain't nothing easy. Ain't nothing gonna come easy. But sometimes you gotta do a little extra work to get some better results. So, I'm just gonna put it in the shrink wrap. Like I said, my oven has been on a while, but the temp set is on. Stay on, but it is on 400. Here. We got it in here. So, we got our heat gun. We we're just gonna shrink wrap it together. Try to hold it. So, we can put that pressure we need for the hold the sticker in place. Now, this is kind of good for the heating. Maybe I wouldn't have to put it in the oven. It looks kind of crooked too with that wording. I think I did the wording kind of slanted. So, I might not have to leave it in so long. I might like do two minutes or so. Probably shouldn't have to do that long since I'm using the shrink wrap. Damn it, I went too long with that one. So we're just gonna pray about this here. We're gonna put it in the oven. In here, but like, I'm gonna do a minute on each side. Let's just try that. We're gonna try a minute on each side and let's see how that hold up. So hopefully it's not too bad. So I'm gonna do a minute and I'm gonna come back. Okay guys, so it's still in the oven. I did do a minute on each side, but now I'm just kind of turning it where, it's, where the sticker is not. I don't want to cook directly on the sticker because I'm scared. I think that's what happened last time. I had it directly on to the sticker. So I'm just kind of paying attention to it, but I'm just keep like turning it on each side, like on the side side. So, so far, I just kind of been cooking it on each side. Got something on there. I just feel like it should just go a little longer, but I don't want to put too much heat to where it's like, I'm just going to leave it in there for a sec though. But see, it took the pressure off this one side. That's the bad part. So... Feel like I had I don't feel like it's down like it should be. I'm just gonna kind of leave it in for a sec. Feel like a cup press will work. I don't have a cup press. I might just go ahead and, and invest in one. But I feel like I should invest in one. I said one minute on each side, but girl, I've been cooking it. Like, i just been flipping it and stuff like that, trying not to get it too hot on one side. i just been playing with it because I don't want it to burn too much. So I'm just kind of flipping it from side to side. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, but we're going to find out because, see, the other one had burnt. As soon as I pulled the paper off of it, I don't know what I just got into. See my arm? I ain't even touch nothing for real. Since the skin bad, bro. I know a lot of folks be mad because I can't really 
show y'all what I do or explain it good, but I just be trying. That's all you need to do is just try. If somebody don't explain something good enough for you, you try it. That's all I can tell you. Take what they didn't show you and you, you do the rest. That's all I be trying to do is help. Teach you to think outside the box. Okay, so. Right then, it looked like it had balled up. See, I'm not getting the pressure I need from the shrink wrap no more on this side here. So. I don't want to overcook it, though. Feel like I'm overcooking it. It's hot. Like, don't get that twisted. It's hot. And it has to cool. But I want to make sure it's on to the cup. Like how the other one was. Oh no. We're just gonna let it cool and we're gonna see. So we probably did a total of about six minutes still though. Because I just like kept rotating it, but it looked like it was trying to come up. It don't look like it's down, but I really can't tell. So I'll tell you what. I don't want to heat it. Like I said, I don't want to heat it up entirely too, too much, but I want it on there. So. I don't know. Should I heat gun it? Still, it's hot. I know I'm touching it, but you know I'm a little tough. So. Certain heat in certain areas, and maybe we could just do it with a shrink wrap here. I don't know, but you know, you can shrink this too much and then it'll start opening, so it's like a waste. Just a little opening there. Sheesh. I'm over the hat though. No cap. We're just going to take it off. We're just going to see. Fuck around a little bit because I'm being stupid right now. We're just going to take the Straight wrap out. This almost look like that um, stuff we were just talking about online. Pulling it off the cup. Okay. So, I know I gotta let it cool. I think I should run it under water. phone keeps stopping i told y'all that's why i kind of wanted to do it live but i don't know what's going on with this phone so i 
I don't know if it worked. I just ran cold water on it to kind of come come on and get it done. And that C type situation. And I probably could have left it in there longer. But we're going to find out. Okay. I feel like I could have heated it up in um, certain areas. Certain areas are very smooth. I don't know if y'all can see. See that? I don't know if you can kind of see, like, it ain't bumpy or nothing, but it's just like right here. I can see, like, either something ain't get down good or the glue bunched up or something. Let's see. Fingers crossed, crew. So it did work a whole lot better this time, but like I said, I feel like maybe I need to melt some glue right here and, and push it down like a heat gun or something, maybe make whatever that glue is because it's like bunched up a little bit. It feels rough here, but everything else seems like it's laying down pretty good. Right here is flawless. This one looks amazing. This side look amazing. It's smooth. Like, it feels like the cup. I'm very proud. This it's beautiful like it came out super duper good this time it came out super duper good so um what i would say I would say use your shrink wrap, um, do one minute, just kind of rotate it. I just rotate it because I don't know still, but it came out super better than this one did. This one, I must have cooked it too long on one side or something like that. It was like, it was bad because I had the temp on 400 and I just kind of kept rotating this one and it came out perfect. So, who you know, baby? But see, this side was bad, but this side came out okay, you know? So, yeah. So far, we did a coffee mug. Okay. So far, we did a coffee mug with uh, DTF. This was a supplement, um, supplementation, uh, tum not tum, but supplementation coffee cup, but I put DTF on this one. And we did that on live. So, right now, we got distillers. Y'all better like this video. I had to delete my dang on TikTok just so I can get this video to upload. So, y'all make sure y'all come in, like, and subscribe. Let your girl know what she did that you think she could have did different. But, like I said, feel like it's on there real good. It just, in this little area, looks a little something to me. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's just me being me, but you can see a little bumpy stuff here. But right here, as you look over here, it's smooth. Right here, it's just like, you know, I must have pinched it or something, but it looks good. It's almost like a, I don't know. It looks good, though. You can see the glue adhere to the cup real good around it. You see it? Focus camera. So, I got to work out some more kinks. But for the most part, I'm happy with it. You see? But yeah. 
I didn't wash the cup either. That's, I believe them little specks are like, you know how you do polyester or anything material or something with sticky stuff get um, on the back of your adhesive. Other than that, y'all, I am very happy with the cup. What y'all think? Y'all have a blessing.